This poem is called The Interstate, and it's me imagining what it's like to be a voice in the desert, crying out to a bunch of cars with their windows rolled up. Prepare the way of the Lord. Deep calls unto deep. Will there be another, or will I dance alone with my headphones again? Breaker, breaker, one, nine. This is a radio check, call sign, star child. Are there others? I was planted in a world where windows are always rolled up. I go to the woods at night to ask the fairies for help finding my hidden family. I know there are others who were planted here too. I see them sitting by themselves in the middle school lunchroom. I see them talking to squirrels in Central Park or laughing at the jokes of invisible spirits on the sidewalk. I see them sulking by the snack table at parties filled with happy chatter. They are the ones who do not run to get out of the ring but walk even slower so that they can get into their cars refreshed by a thousand new kisses from the mother who is always watering her baby seeds and watching to see who will stop to blow her a kiss back. But we have been planted in soil that is not fertile, cubicles with ergonomic keyboards and spinning chairs that hiss as they rise and fall. We do not have other toys to play with because we have deadlines to meet and we need to make a Lowe's run and stop by Target to return the clothes we really wanted to fit. We are trapped behind our windshields looking at woods that might as well be a cardboard backdrop because the only world we know is the concrete between the stripes of paint that shows us where to aim our lives if we don't want to get pulled over. And when we rest, we scroll through words that slide down like a steady rain on the interstate highway, everyone driving alone, trying to find the heavenly city amidst this hell of strip malls. Heaven only happens when we pull over. Even if it's only to shit in the woods, a voice cries out from the median of the fry freeway where no one is free. I have a bullhorn, but no one will stop. I was commanded to share the love I have been shown. I am losing my voice. My head is pounding, and I will continue to dance while the traffic rushes around me. I know that what I'm asking is impossible. I want the world to stop. And I want to give each of you a flower so you can talk to the flower and learn all the songs she has to teach you. Then we can sing together and plant more flowers because that is how we were made to spend our time since the one who made us is a flower and we are bees made to drink her nectar and spread her seeds throughout every meadow. We are not made to drive alone with windows up seeing only other cars and honking when they get too close or won't speed up. If we spend most of our lives looking at large pieces of metal with strangers inside, how could we not be lonely? What if we all gathered at a rest area instead of doing the anonymous ritual of water and porcelain in a concrete room designed to appear as blank, as sterile as possible, utterly void of any semblance of a natural world? What if we built a campfire right in the middle of the banal official landscaping and started to sing songs to the land that we had never listened to before? Would the land sing with us? And how long would it take the state troopers to break up the party? You must move at the pace of the traffic around you or the authorities will know that you are a problem. But if everyone stopped and got out of the cars and we started dancing on the interstate, then maybe we could start asking the land's forgiveness and begging the spirits who never left the trees to show us how to live without concrete roads that make our lives linear and frantic. I want to sit in the median, especially where the grass is not maintained and the wildflowers reign in a wild kingdom that has not ever accepted the concrete as its master. Will you sit with me in the interstate median? Because that's how strange and awkward it would be to live in the kingdom of God in a world of freeways that have coaxed a nation into giving up its freedom. <laughs>